Happy birthday, sweetie. Happy birthday. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to GS Backstage. Today, our little girl turned four years old. How do you feel having a four year old, babe? A deja vu. <laughs> deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> You've had like, what, 24 year olds? Uh, not 20. Uh, this makes uh, the seventh four year old. Wow. So, guys, of my Alana. Own flesh and blood. I'm sorry. So, guys, um, Kira turned four, finally, four years old. And we just took her to go look at some animals at the zoo. And um, we just can't believe she's four. But anyways, you wouldn't believe it. We have older grandkids. How how does it feel having older grandkids than your four-year-old daughter? Like, literally, teenage grandkids. It doesn't really feel anything. I, I it, When I think about it, does seem kind of strange. Doesn't cause any feeling at all. Doesn't cause you any feeling of em embarrassment. Nah. No, not in the least. Nah. Uh, I've no. Nah, I've done things I'm embarrassed about. Having beautiful children and beautiful <laughs> grandchildren is not not one of them. No. Jim uh, is very proud of his kids. Anytime somebody just says the little ones are cute, Jim starts talking about all the older ones. Uh, am I wrong? Not always. It's, it, there's, there's always a trigger. There's, uh, but I'm not. I won't hesitate to talk about my older children. I won't hesitate to talk about my grandchildren. Uh, when someone thinks that these are my grandchildren, I'm quick to set them straight. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm not embarrassed. Uh, I'm absolutely not embarrassed by my children, my grandchildren. Oh, I know you're not. Um, I've made mistakes in my life. And I'm quick to admit the mistakes that I made, but I've never considered my children or my grandchildren to be mistakes. Not the way I've ever looked at it. I'm proud of each and every one of my children. I'm glad that each and every one of my children came into the world. And when I think about how I would go back and change mistakes that I made, I remember that changing those mistakes would cost me those beautiful children and I wouldn't change them if I could because I wouldn't do anything to stop my children from having been born, from having my beautiful children, my beautiful grandchildren. Every child you have is a blessing, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, okay? It only gets better. So we took Kira to see all these funky animals. <laughs> she loved seeing all the animals. She loved seeing the amphibians and the reptiles and the insects. And she liked seeing the bigger animals, the hippopotamus and the giraffe and the crocodiles and the alligators and the tortoises. She enjoyed seeing everything. And we saw some llamas, goats and chickens too. <laughs> <laughs> Some things that you'd see on the streets if we were in Africa. I, I know, right? The things that you'll see for free, you know? <laughs> you don't even have to pay to go to any zoo. So guys, before we keep going with this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, share it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, make sure you hit the uh, notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Um, in case you have children or older kids and you have divorced, separated, or just moved you away, don't give up hope, guys, because, you know, you just, you just never know. The old saying is, where there's life, there's hope. And that is so true. Uh, things change. No matter how bad things get, it will change. Because Jim never wanted more kids. He never. Jim was done, right? He was done. From done to additional, what, five more? <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. Uh, I did not want more children. Not because I didn't love my children and didn't think I would love more children. But because it had been so hard what, what I'd been through with my first four children. And... I didn't want to go through that again, and I didn't want to put more children through what they had had to go through. But as Sarah said, uh, circumstances change. 
just because you've had misfortune in the past doesn't mean that you will always have misfortune. Just because relationships didn't work out in the past doesn't mean you will never have a relation. It doesn't mean you will never have a relationship that will work out. Uh, things change and circumstances change and we change. People change. People change. Because at change. first, my husband was like, no more. And I'm like, yes, sir, you were giving me some baby. <laughs> and he's like, no more babies. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I am a young girl. I want me some babies. I want to work my ovaries. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it's all by the grace of God. You know, it's only God. It is. It is by the grace of God. And the most important thing to learn is to trust God. A lot of us from time to time try to play God. And the important thing is not to play God, just to live life to the fullest. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Bye.